Okay, you can uh, see I'm set up with the burners and we're going to watch this thing as it goes into a trial for ignition and let's see what happens. Okay, now the inducer has come on so the hot surface igniter is going to come on pretty quick and I'll see if I get close enough in there so that you can see what happens. Okay, now the hot surface igniter is on. Now you can see the burner on the right has come on, but none of the rest of them have come on. So what's going on? Now you see it just safetyed out. Okay, hot surface igniter's on again. There's your burner burning. Didn't travel across to the rest of the burners. So, it's not traveling all the way over to uh, the flame rod so it can uh, sense flame. Let's pull those burners out and take a look. Here you can kind of see the business end of these uh, flame spreaders. The burners are right here, of course they're coming out this way. This is a flame spreader right here. There's a little bit of flame supposed to go here and there's gas over here uh, and say it lights here and then this flames up, gas comes to the burner here and to this little flame spreader here and then it just spreads to each one. If those things get plugged, like right in here, this one's kind of plugged up. Uh, if that happens, then it doesn't spread the flame. And you have to spread it to all the burners because the flame rod's on the last burner to light. So what you end up with is it goes out on flame safety all the time, but if you watch it, not all the burners are lighting. It just, all it takes is a good cleaning, a little bit of a wire brush in there, and uh, uh, maybe a vacuum cleaner and it will clean up good. Maybe blow it out with air, whatever. But uh, that's all it takes to get these uh, flame spreaders clear. So if you have a furnace and it doesn't light all the burners every time and goes out on safety, you might take a look at the flame spreaders and just generally take the burners out and clean them.